I search thrift stores, Goodwills, garage sales, and more for possible treasures. Then I decide whether to purchase or pass. Watch what I do and decide for yourself. Would you buy it? So where are we going? Well, it's like, what is it, 745? <laughs> it's pitch black, and I have, I'm on crutches, so of course we're going to pick up garbage on the side of the road. Why would you even ask? It is uh, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and we just saw on uh, Craigslist that somebody has a bunch of stereo equipment, um, receivers and uh, VHSs out on the side of the road. We saw a couple pictures, and so it was just posted a couple hours ago, and so the early bird, or in this case, the late bird gets the worm. So off we go. All right, so Justin, how are you doing? Um, it's certainly interesting. I mean, it is pitch black. Part of what has me worried is that the Deliverance theme keeps playing. There's a car behind us. Oh my so god. I'm a little worried that they're trying to steal our stuff. Because <laughs> why else could they be out on a night like this? Yeah. All right, we're here. Justin, is the pile still here? Yes, it is. Okay, so go for it. So it seems like it's all here still. I don't see anything missing. There's a ton of stuff, tons of speakers. This is a, a four channel receiver. I wonder if it's like quadraphonic or something. Oh, seriously? Yeah, something like that. Funny. There is tons, tons and tons of stuff. Holy crap. Teak, Technics. Uh, not sure what this uh, is. A CD changer. Bunch sure. of tape players. Oh, Optimus. What's this thing here? This thing? Yeah. Uh, video control, so receiver. Okay. So this is a broken Kenwood tape player. Not sure. Harmon Carden, Justin. Oh, really? But yeah, holy crap. Fred Harmon Carden. Oh, that's oh, awesome. That's we'll that. grab that, yeah. Techwood? I don't know about that. Uh, CD change of this. Yeah, I would cool. say not worth yeah. it. There's a DVD player, yeah. GE. What the hell is this big ass Oh, that's thing? a Technics. Oh, I think that's very similar to the one I have, actually. Pioneer that's receiver. Holy I would maybe crap. grab that. Oh boy. There's some speakers. Compact disc. Well, this seems old. JVC uh, CD changer or something. So what are these speakers here? Can you turn these speakers? speakers? Yeah. I mean, they're painted. I don't know if you can tell on the, the stone, but... Uh. You see this big ass speaker, right, Justin? Oh uh, yeah, I did. Did you get this M? Holy crap, there's one, two, three. You saw that, Justin, right? Yeah, that I might Again, that, spray but... painted, holy crap. So we've been out here probably, what, half an hour? Maybe. So we got these speakers, and then we'll show you a lot more. Uh, we got a couple of components. We got, uh, what, those three things, and there's stuff in the back seat. Is there so... room for a Malen? No. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so we need to- We'll, we'll rearrange, we'll rearrange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can uh, sit on top of this. Thing. We got like a Holy synthesizer god. or something. Oh my god. Um, oh receiver, my god. I don't know what. So we got some stuff. Well, we have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a pretty good day, right? Yeah, I'd say maybe our best Black Friday ever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, deep, deep discounts. <laughs> Free! Yep. So we're excited again. It's gonna. It'll be interesting to see what this stuff looks like in the light of day. Does any of it work? Yeah. Does any of it work? Yeah. What is that? That's a homemade. Um, I'm not really sure who made it, but it's some kind of speaker taken out. Now the, you take uh, out the components. Over. Yeah. Because you don't want to keep that case, do you? Nah. Up here in the light of day is our take. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven components. Those are, what, Justin, subwoofers? Uh, they're like woofers, I think, or something, but yeah. Okay, which you pulled out of those speakers. Yeah. So what we're gonna do real quick is pull these over, show them a little closer, and at least plug them in to see if they power up. So here's the first thing we're gonna show you. It's a Pioneer. It's a reverberator, a uh, reverberation um, amplifier, but uh, there's some small problems, like the case is totally busted, and <laughs> There's no, uh, the power cord is cut, which could mean something. Um, I had a car radio, and uh, I'll probably show a shot of it that had a reverberator in it, and it sold for quite a bit. I looked at a comp on this. It wasn't worth a ton, but uh, we're curious about this. It's again, really, it's, it's definitely corroded in the back, like rusty, like that window changes. <laughs> that's kind of cool, just in and of itself. There's a blue, uh, 
blue piece and then that's being moved across the green screen. So it gives that effect. On the bottom, it gives you, I don't know if you call it directions or options or things like that. But this one we can't obviously plug in at the moment. We'll have to splice it in and decide if we want to risk electrocuting ourselves. So this is a four channel Panasonic receiver. Um, as you can see, it's not in the best condition and especially um, like all some of the dials and stuff are pretty bent or stuff, um, but the case especially it seems like someone painted it or something. Or... There, there was a lot of stuff, like some of those speakers have been painted as well. Yeah. Like somebody was doing something that at the time was cool, but it's set up for four speakers just in front and rear. Yeah, see it's got like some four channel inputs and stuff. And then these are the speakers. Is this the quadraphonic thing? I'm not entirely sure because it doesn't specifically say quadraphonic yeah. on it, but I'm thinking it's something like that. And actually, funnily enough, um, I just like maybe two or three days ago was at a uh, thrift store and I got this quadraphonic record. I like obviously I don't have any other quadraphonic stuff, so I couldn't play it, but. I always thought it was kind of cool, so I figured, um, like, if I ever got a quadraphonic <laughs> thingy, yeah. which obviously, potentially, I have now, it could be kind of cool to test it out. All right, so here it goes. We got plugged in. I'm gonna touch wood. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Holy crap. First of all, it's worth the money just for that thing. Yeah, that's cool. I don't need anything else. Uh, this is kind oh, of bad. Yeah. That's cool. Powers on. Doesn't yeah. mean it works, but it powers on. Jeez. I'm serious, like that is worth the price. That's so cool. I mean, we did pay nothing, but. What do we got here, Justin? Uh, here's another receiver. It's a Technix one, like a vintage one. And it's in a pretty bad condition, honestly. <laughs> Wondering why I got it. Um, basically, it's, I think it's either very similar or the same model as another one that I have, um, like a Technics receiver. So I'm thinking that maybe if um, that one has some problems or something, I can at least like steal some parts from it. This is rusted to hell. Yeah. Like really bad. Uh, even the um, plug was a little bit rusted. All right, turn it back around. I don't know if we dare turn it on, but we'll try. Like this, does that seem... Yeah, I that that was on the oh, other seriously? one. Oh, seriously? This thing you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. That seems so crude. I'm going to flick this thing on. Mm, nothing. All right, so Justin, what do you figure out? Um, I just changed the source to uh, the radio, and now when I turn it on... At least lights up one thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a red light. Oh, okay. So you think it parts, though? Um, probably, yeah. Okay. And our next item, Justin? Uh, Kenwood tape deck. Um... Dual cassette, huh? Yeah. Um, and it Ooh. at least seems to work and slowly, too. Yeah, that's top five. <laughs> I mean, that's when I was a kid, like, you were impressed by that. It wasn't just like, <laughs> open so. Um, okay, so the, that opens, which is, it's mechanical, so that doesn't tell you too much. What was that famous, oh, pawnbrokers. Yeah, interesting. Let's see what happens. All right, so, I mean, we got that lit up. So we're just gonna throw in a tape. Um, to see if it moves. I hear it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to try the other one because there's a counter. We should be able to get a sense of if it's actually moving. Again, we heard sound when we did fast forward and play and stuff, but couldn't completely see. So press play, I guess. Yeah, that's... Well, I mean, the counter's moving. So, I mean, the counter's moving, or whatever that's worth. Okay. So, it it seems uh, like it, it may be working, but this, this there's some sound. Like the motor's not shutting off on the side or something, so. And next from our garbage pile, Justin. Uh, we have a JVC tape deck. Um, so, the, it kind of looks cool. It's... Maybe a little more modern. Um, yeah, it's got more of a, like a curved look almost. Yeah, um, okay. but it's we have a JVC receiver downstairs, and it actually kind of has the similar look to that, so thought it might kind of be cool. 
And just curiously, the layaway date is 2010. All right, so we plugged it in, and I mean, we got the yeah, yeah we got the standby, and it's a polarized plug, so it's it is somewhat newer. So um, I guess press to turn it on. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, why don't you pop that tape in there? Uh, see, that one opens a little faster. Yeah. Yeah, so it's actually, it's turning. And over here, the thingy is moving. Yeah, okay. So. All right, that sounds good. All right. So, I mean, that sounds promising. So we're on our last three components. Just one we got. Uh, this is a Sansui TUD55X. Uh, it's a tuner, so like for receiving FM and AM radio. This says bulk. Yeah. yeah. And again, it was on layaway. All right, let's see if this bulk Sansui thing works. Okay, so some lights. Okay. So let's try. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's tuning. So 102.5 is a signal around here that's pretty strong, but it's not working, but thankfully we have a human antenna. <laughs> so go ahead and touch, uh, let go, Justin. Touch it. And look at that, suddenly we're locked and loaded with FM stereo. <laughs> that's funny. Do you feel electrocuted? Nope. So again, so I, this should work. All right, what do we got here? Just another tape player. Yeah, this is a uh, Nakamichi. Yeah, right? Um, yeah, Nakamichi. Uh, BX100 uh, cassette deck tape player. Um, not really sure if that's a good name or not. Yeah. Like, it seems pretty cool. And yeah, when uh, you. That's okay, so that's pretty decent. It, it's pretty slow. Kind of playing around with okay. these. I guess, like, kind of a balance level thing. Yeah, record, record level, level. Yeah, Dolby. Dolby. All right, so we're going to power it on here. Now, there's, there's at least, again, a light. Uh, why don't you, s oh yeah, okay, so there's stuff here. Play. Mm. See you go. Now at the moment, oh wait, it, oh. it turned. Uh, oh yeah, I don't think it's going. Uh, yeah, right, fast forward. It is not moving, the tape is not moving, rewind. Oh, it's struggling. All right, Justin, last but not least, what do we got? A uh, Harman Kardon 230 receiver. It's got a really vintage yeah, look no, like that. Yeah, yeah, those knobs, yeah. yeah. Rocker knobs, yeah. So that's the antenna, right? Yeah, it's a little, there the casing is a little busted. Oh, I don't know if that'll oh, yeah. be problematic or not, but. Actually, you know what, Plainview, New York is Long Island. Go for it. Ooh, oh, look, oh my oh, God, that's look at that. Flock. Oh, that's sweet. That That is awesome. And I got yes. the okay, yeah. okay. So that's that sweeps good. That the oh, that's awesome. The the yeah. color and just like the type font or whatever. That's yeah. something awesome. I wonder if there would be something here that would light up, like if you did um, a tape or something. Oh yeah. No. Oh that's oh that's <laughs> FM. Oh, that's an FM. Oh, you know what? It's not as bright. Yeah. Go back to AM. Yeah. See. Oh, there must be a light out. Oh, okay. Okay. So oh, that's cool, but that is excellent. Very cool, man. All right, so that's it. So I think what everything powered on at least to uh, some degree, right? I mean the yeah, oh yeah, that the reverberator we could try, yeah. but um, everything else, lights came on at least yeah. or something. So our garbage haul, worth it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. What are you most excited about trying out further? Um, I'm really excited about the Panasonic four channel thing. That yeah. should be cool if it works. Certainly. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to test that uh, quadraphonic record if somehow that just works. Yeah. Um, the Harman Kardon is really cool too. That, that's an awesome look. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, definitely good, fun, uh, crazy little out in there in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the night, but uh, we got the best stash if we'd wait till the morning, God knows what would be there, right? Yeah. So that was a lot of fun.